You probably know me as the creator of The Office. <laughs> no, you don't, do you? You think Steve Carell did it all? Oh, oh, he's brilliant, isn't he, Steve Carell? <laughs> he's amazing as the bumbling office manager. Where does he get his ideas from? <laughs> Let's pay. I've been to a lot of award ceremonies. Um, uh, here. Um, and someone always gets up and says, oh, oh, I haven't prepared a speech. I didn't think I would win. Well, I knew I'd won. <laughs> and I didn't prepare a speech. That shows you the contempt I have for this award and this town in general. Um, you look pumped, buffed, and cut. <laughs> you, I mean, you, you are ready to go. Thank you. When, when did this happen, for God's sakes? Um, it's been a gradual process. Yeah. Well, what over, is your goal? Over uh, 50 years. Uh-huh. Started off really small. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what's well, the big... matter with your voice? I've got a sore throat. Ah. So that's, that's it. How long have you had the sore throat? Just a couple of days. See, now, I had a sore throat and, uh, uh, around the holidays. It's all and about I just... you, isn't it? It's all about uh, you. It... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence made the news when she demanded equal pay for women in Hollywood and she received, yeah, overwhelming support from people everywhere. There were marches on the street with nurses and factory workers saying, how the hell can a 25-year-old live on 52 million? This is... There were plumbers around the world going, poor girl in town, what's fucking hell? So... Right, listen, this is... Shush. <laughs> Just shut up, really, seriously. Right. A few years ago, on this show, I made a joke about Mel Gibson getting a bit drunk and saying a few unsavoury things. We've all done it. I wasn't judging him, but now I find myself in the awkward position of having to introduce him again. <laughs> listen. I'm sure it's embarrassing for both of us, OK? And I blame NBC for this terrible situation. <laughs> Mal blames... We know who Mal blames. <laughs> Listen, I still feel a bit bad for it, right? Mal's forgotten all about it, apparently. That's what drinking does. No. <laughs> I want to say something nice about Mal before he comes out. Um, so... Oh, yeah, OK, here you go. I'd rather have a drink with him in his hotel room tonight than with Bill Cosby. <laughs> Please welcome Mal Gibson. Yeah. I love seeing Ricky once every three years because it reminds me to get a colonoscopy. <laughs> oh. yeah. <laughs> well, if you'd left your drink here, you don't need to leave your drink here. I'll put you to sleep another way, son of a bitch. <laughs> Listen. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. I think we all want the answer to this. Mm -hmm. I don't know, ask the guy that said it, it wasn't me. I say, I'm going to be nice tonight, I've changed. Not as much as Bruce Jenner, obviously. <laughs> now Caitlyn Jenner, of course. What a year she's had. She became a role model for trans people everywhere, showing great bravery in breaking down barriers and destroying stereotypes. She didn't do a lot for women drivers, but... <laughs> Mainly Star Trek. Memorabilia, because I love Star Trek. <laughs> oh, such a nerd. <laughs> have, you never been, have you never been in a Star Trek? No, I've never been in a Star Trek, but I love the original series, so I have... Oh, okay. Like, I have the Gorn head from the original series from the episode Arena, where... Like, they know what... I know, I'm just... I'm, like, I'm just nodding. Oh, the Gorn head. <laughs> I am. The Gorn head. Okay. I have... <laughs> I have... What the f*** is a Gorn head? <laughs>
channel are we on now? What is this again? Where are you now? We are now. We're on TBS. Right. I've never. I've never heard of that. Yeah. Before. No. It's. Right. Right. It's a growing concern. Okay. It's really in. In 30 years, we're going to be. What channel? What number on the dial? Well, if it depends, uh, what uh, oh. medium you're using. Yeah. Uh, Direct TV would be uh, 247. 247. 247. <laughs> who, who finds it? They must. They, they, they're definitely. They're definitely looking for porn if they find this. <laughs> There's no way you go through that. And then, but when they get here, they go, oh, this will do. I'm too tired anyway. I just... Other celebrity scandal. Justin Bieber nearly had to take a paternity test. <laughs> what a waste of a test that would have been. No, he's not the father. The only way that he could have impregnated a girl was if he'd borrowed one of Martha Stewart's old turkey basters. <laughs> Open wide. Um, the town in Minnesota has canceled plans to change the name of a street called Stoner Avenue. <laughs> it's a weird street. And instead of saying stop, all the signs say, chill, bro. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, so, hey, kid, yeah, you're, not, you're, still... not, you're not giving them, you know, they come out, <laughs> they, they park their cars, they've got babies that they haven't paid. Why would you? That'd be mental. <laughs> but... But if I was you, I'd be going, thank you so much, these people, and giving them, you know what I mean? Yeah, it but was, I'm not doing that. It was soddy. It was, um, I mean, you, you know, you, did, you didn't write it, and that's... But do it like... <laughs> but do it like it's your own. Do it like you were clever enough to come up with this joke yourself, <laughs> OK? <laughs> On a serious note, just looking at all the faces here reminds me of some of the great work that's been done this year by cosmetic surgeons. Um, <laughs> You all look great. <laughs> I've had a little bit of work done. I've had cheek implants. Uh, they put them there, which is annoying. <laughs> I never knew you were this weird. Really? Because <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you kept it. You, we were yeah. worked together for a couple of days. And did, I know. You're absolutely mental. <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a nice way? Yeah. 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 But uh, so. <laughs> I haven't offended anyone. I didn't mean it's not my fault. It's a lot of powerful people here, so if I said it's. <laughs> Honestly, I like a drink as much as the next man. Unless the next man is Mel Gibson. <laughs> if we're out or something, I, I, I sort of like lag behind and get Jane by herself with no one on, and I take a picture of her and I tweet Jane with all her friends. <laughs> Yeah. So, so, like, bit, imagine. Bit. So, so yeah. here's here's one you tweeted of Jane. Jane thinking about making new friends. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, Jane, look at those crows. <laughs> <laughs> but does she not know you're doing it? Does no, she not, not think? Where time. is he? She, Where is he? She sees the tweet. <laughs> uh, this Jane thought she'd made a new friend, but it was just a shadow. <laughs> The next one. Just found this photo of Jane when she was little. <laughs> <laughs> there had to be a gift. You must have given her a gift after that. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what being in a relationship for 30 years does. Uh, Jane is looking so happy because her new friend hasn't walked away yet. <laughs> The Golden Globes is shown all over the world. It is oblivious to colour or creed. It doesn't just celebrate talent, it celebrates difference. It crushes prejudice and stereotype. One stereotype I hate is that all Irishmen are just drunk, sweary hellraisers. Please welcome Colin Farrell. Why didn't you episodes. do more than 12 episodes? Because I was tired. <laughs> I do. I think that. <laughs> Tired. I need to lie down. I get. I got the attention span of a toddler. I can't believe you've done this show this long. I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. I can tell your heart's not in it anymore. No, but my I, 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 don't, I can't. <laughs> no, I can care less anymore. Here. You see what I'm doing there? Yeah. Are you try it. No, I can't. <laughs> This is the only. This will get rid of. This, uh, sorry. Huh? How is this not a breakdown? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you, are you, are you, are you gonna? Are you, I'm trying to help. That's amazing. But, Available for streaming. I've never seen you so animated. Yeah. That was amazing. Thank you.
<laughs> on Netflix. I uh, thought you were giving up. Okay. <laughs> no, this is this is. Oh. No, I, I honestly just thought you were seeing this out, waiting, buying the time out. I was well, thinking you, of, I wouldn't be long till I was there. Oh, and now... Yeah. Well, that, you, you think, maybe I should, maybe. No, huh? you've got a second win to go for it. Why would you...? <laughs> but actors aren't just loved here in Hollywood, they are loved the world over, because they're recognisable. You can be anywhere. You could be in the third world, OK, and you get a glimpse of a Hollywood star, and it makes you feel better. Okay? You could be a little, a little child, a little Asian child, with no possessions and no money, but you get a, you see a picture of Angelina Jolie and you think, oh, Mummy! <laughs> You're 65 this Thursday, aren't you? That's correct, yes. You can't use this till Thursday, this is official. I got you a bus pass and senior citizens. Oh, a... oh it's a metro card, there it is. <laughs> so, yeah. No. I want to say something nice about Mal before he comes out. Um, so. Oh, yeah, okay, here you go. I'd rather have a drink with him in his hotel room tonight than with Bill Cosby. <laughs> Please, Malcolm. Mal Gibson. Ricky Gervais has a new game show here on ABC called Child Support, and he really wanted to be here to promote it in person, but he's very busy not being here to promote it in person. So he, he made a video, he sent a video, and I don't know exactly what the nature of the video is. Yeah, hi, Jimmy. Um, sorry I'm not there in person, but, you know, um, I can't be bothered, <laughs> to be honest. But I've seen the show, I get the gist of it. How could you replace Kiefer Sutherland in 24? I'd love to see a real anti-terrorist agent try and defuse a bomb in a busy train station in one hour. <laughs> Some of those scenes, by the way, where Kiefer grabs someone and beats them to a pulp, they weren't even in the script. Um, <laughs> the director just said, keep rolling, we'll work it into them. 